Hi, I'm Gordon from Camera Labs, and this is the Olympus 17mm f1.2 Pro Lens. Olympus asked me to make a video about how you might use this lens, and it got me thinking that certain focal lengths really cry out for certain types of subjects. Mount a 45mm lens on a micro four thirds body, and you've got yourself a short telephoto that's perfect for portraits. Pop on a 7-14mm and you've got an ultra wide zoom that's crying out for epic landscapes or enormous buildings. So what does a 17mm cry out to you? What kind of subjects is it good for? I'll tell you what, absolutely everything. 17mm on micro four thirds gives you 34mm equivalent coverage. That's wide enough for landscapes, buildings and group shots, but not so wide it suffers from distortion. It can turn its hand to contextual portraits and even macro detail shots. For me, 17mm on micro four thirds is the classic general purpose workhorse and if I only had one lens to shoot with, it would be this focal length. Now this isn't the only 17mm lens from Olympus, there's the older 17mm f1.8 that's smaller, lighter and more affordable too. That's the model to go for if you want the maximum portability on a smaller body or if you're on a tighter budget. But the 17mm f1.2 Pro is a higher end option for those who demand the best performance. It's the third model in the Olympus f1.2 series, sharing the same weather sealed barrel as the 25mm and 45mm f1.2, and also their manual focus rings which pull back to reveal a distance scale with hard stops. It also features a programmable function button and is supplied with a lens hood. The internal focusing is fast, but the thing that really makes this lens special is the f1.2 focal ratio, joined brightest in the Olympus range. It allows the lens to deliver very shallow depth of field effects, while also letting you maintain lower sensitivities or faster shutters in dim conditions. Okay, now for the photos. I took all of the following images with the 17mm f1.2 Pro mounted on an Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II body. Now, all of the pictures you're going to see are JPEG straight out of camera, straight out of this camera in fact, and there's absolutely no retouching or manipulation. I'll start with landscapes and street photography where the 34mm equivalent coverage proves itself as one of your most flexible choices. Again, it's wide enough to squeeze in reasonable landscape views, tall buildings or large group shots, but not so wide that it suffers from distortion or makes everything look like it's miles away. Sure, it's wider than so-called standard 50mm coverage, but for me it feels much more natural and closer to what I'm seeing in person. 34mm coverage may not be your first choice for portraits, but it can actually work really well. Rather than minimising the background as you would at telephoto lengths, the wider coverage captures more of the surroundings to give them some context. Wider lenses may have an inherently broader depth of field, but the bright focal ratio of the 17mm f1.2 means it's still possible to blur some of the background. The slightly wide coverage also encourages you to get closer to your subjects and move around them for a more interesting angle. I much prefer this approach to shooting with a zoom where it's easy to find your feet apparently glued to the spot, discouraging you from exploring the scene. I particularly enjoy shooting close-ups with large aperture lenses as they let you really concentrate on the details and isolate them against a blurred background. The rendering on the 17mm f1.2 Pro is also very attractive with sharply focused details and smooth blurring. The closest focusing distance of 20cm means you can fill the frame with something as small as a sandwich or a coffee cup. So here's a lens that can be used for product or food photography, as well as landscape, streets and portraits. See what I mean about it being the most flexible focal length in your collection? You can also enjoy all these benefits when filming video. Here's a couple of clips I filmed in 4K with the EM1 Mark II, with the 17mm Pro at f1.2 of course, and using the touchscreen on the camera to pull focus from near to far. As an MSC lens, the focusing is nice and smooth and quiet for both stills and movies. You could even use this lens for vlogging. It's just about wide enough so your face doesn't fill too much of the screen. And the fabulous image stabilisation on the EM1 Mark II. Here, just working with sensor shift only, is doing a great job at ironing out the wobbles as I walk along here. Meanwhile, face detection on the camera is also ensuring that yours truly is remaining nice and sharp on the frame, even at the very, very shallow depth of field you have with this lens opened up to f1.2, as I have here. The Olympus 17mm f1.2 Pro is an unashamedly high-end lens aimed at those who demand the best performance and the brightest focal ratio at this popular focal length. 
Personally speaking, I was already a big fan of using 17mm lenses on micro four thirds bodies, but I love the ability to now blur those backgrounds more, achieve those shallower depth of field effects. It's made a flexible lens even more flexible to me, and it's a perfect match for the OMD EM1 Mark II body, which I have it mounted on here. Right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.